So today I want to talk about moving two kids into the same room and a couple of tips around maybe how to do this, reasons why I think it's a good idea and also how we did it. A bit of a disclaimer, I've got both the kids kind of running around, they're probably running or I'll probably have to stop filming or like cut this off halfway through. But I really wanted to film and I don't want the kids being here to stop that so I just figured I'm just going to do it and go with it. But yeah, if you hear some funny background noises, it's them. We moved Sonny and Jack, so Sonny is now one and a half and Jack is three and a half, into the same room about six months ago and it's been going so, so well. We didn't plan it at all. I knew that ultimately I wanted them to share a room but I didn't know when or how or why or when it would really come about. But as it happened, it came about really naturally. It happened when Sonny was around one years old and was going through a really bad stage of sleeping in that he just would not go to sleep, he would not settle, was really like wired and having been a baby that settled really easily it was really strange and kind of threw me a bit. One night when he just would not settle and it was taking like three quarters of an hour an hour we literally took his cot, picked him up in the cot and took the cot and put it into Jack's room. It was something in my gut that told me that he would be happy if he were in the same room as Jack and Jack was just next door and just peaceful in his room about to go to sleep. It was bizarre because literally as soon as Sonny was in Jack's room, yeah, he didn't exactly like lie down and go to sleep but this just calm came about him as he saw that Jack was like beside him and it was slightly cosier in Jack's room and basically it fixed the problem of him settling at night. I think a couple of people have asked me how we did it, like which method we went about doing it. As I've already explained, it was quite kind of sporadic, but we had been saying to Jack, um, oh, you know, I think you're going to be sharing a room with Sunny soon and just basically like putting it out there but at the same time I think this bit's crucial not making a big deal out of it and not making him feel like oh who's that going to be coming into my space I do think it's easy for kids to get anxious like adults do and I also think that kids are very adaptable so actually I think almost the less you communicate it and like prepare them for it the better that's been our experience anyway and Jack was absolutely fine with it and now I think would find it super weird if they didn't share a room. So why is it that I want the kids to share a room? Because a lot of people like to keep them separate and I on the other hand really really like them being together and I'm going to explain why. So first of all, practically speaking, it frees up space slash if you don't have the space it's just what you have to do which is what happened to us. Another reason, and I've kind of alluded to this already before, is that I think that it makes for a really close relationship between the kids if they are going to bed together, waking up together, just having that closeness. Another real advantage, I think, of two kids sharing a room is that they entertain each other. In the mornings, Jack will wake up and play and whatever and potter around and Sunny will wake up and just watch him and therefore they just kind of amuse each other without needing us around which is absolutely brilliant. Sometimes we put on nursery rhymes and they're just happy in each other's presence which is so nice, not to mention really really helpful. Another reason I like them sharing a room is that I think that it makes them into adaptable kids. So what I mean by this is quite a few people ask do they wake each other up? Um, which does happen sometimes, but actually you'd also be surprised at how much kids sleep through. I'm sure you guys have probably noticed, but there can be quite a loud noise and your kid might well just sleep through it. Sometimes, yes, they wake each other up and they have to cope with that. And actually, in my mind, that makes them flexible and adaptable. It encourages them to be easygoing and kind of go with the flow when it comes to noise or interruption. Another thing is that I feel like Sunny learns a lot from being around Jack so much and so by extending that to their sleeping space I just think it gives them even more opportunity to learn and absorb mainly and I've alluded to this basically through the video I just love how close I think them sharing a room has made them for me it's really special seeing their relationship and their bond grow and literally day by day they become closer they're starting having little jokes they play more and more alone just the two of them I can trust them just to be in a space and happy so basically I'm enjoying. Somebody's joined me. Do you like sharing a room with Sunny? Yeah. So in terms of how, it all happens um, quite smoothly, I guess. We do everything at the same time. Sorry, he's literally picking his nose on camera. I bath them, take them up to the bedroom, get them dressed. They have their milk 
at the same time and then they just oh. go to bed together. I put Sunny in his cot and Jack will go straight into bed and I'll read him a story which I'll show Sunny at the same time. Sort of, that's a bit awkward like trying to read a book to both kids at the same time and then both see the pictures but they're fine with it. And then Sunny will go to sleep in his cot and Jack, if he wants to play, you play, don't you, in your bedroom? Yeah. He might just play on the floor next to his bed and then when he's tired, he'll get into his bed. But he doesn't disturb Sunny. He just, yeah, very maturely gets into bed when he's tired and goes to sleep. Oh, now I've got both of you. As I said, if Jack wakes up earlier, then he'll just play. And yes, yeah, sometimes he'll wake Sunny up in the morning or sometimes Sunny will wake him up, but it's not really a big deal, is it? No, 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 Guys, I'm going to sign off now before it gets even more hectic. But thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and leave me a comment with any questions. I will see you very soon. Bye.